In this video, I'm going to build a way to display a list of blogs that the user has created on their account screen. So there'll be a little list down here, and then they'll be able to click on those and view that blog in detail. Later, of course, we'll be able to update those blogs, but first we just gotta get a list showing in their profile. That's kind of the first step. So the first thing we need to do is go into account and we need to edit the my account view to show, to query that list of blogs. So I'm gonna come down below where we have our form and I'm gonna create a new variable named blog posts and set that equal to blog post dot objects dot filter. And I wanna look for where the author equals request dot user. And then I wanna add that to the context. So context blog posts equals blog posts. Nothing fancy there other than we need to import the blog post model. So let's go up to the top and say from blog.models import blog post and that should be good to go. Now this blog post list should be available in the my account template. So let's take a look at that. Let's go into the account template. So now at the bottom of this, where below kind of the form, below where they would click change their password, I wanna add a list. So I'm gonna create a bootstrap list down here that we can display the, uh, the list. So, or display, the, yeah, display the list, of, uh, the, the list of blog posts. So container, I'm gonna set some margins. So margin top to four to kind of skip, uh, bring it away from everything else that's already on the screen. Next, we need to do another div. Inside here will be div class row, and now another div. And inside here will be uh, another class named blog posts, which I need to create. So this is gonna add some CSS to this div, which I haven't added yet, so I'm gonna come back to that after. Next is gonna be an H3 tag, and this is gonna be margin bottom three. I'll do font weight normal, and inside here I'll have blog posts and a colon. So now now I wanna loop through those blog posts. So for, I'll say for post in blog posts, and then down here I want to end, end that loop. And inside here I can then reference each of these individual blog posts. So first I'll have a link that's going to take you to the detail page for the blog post. Of course we haven't made this yet, keep that in mind, but this is going, this view will be will own the namespace of blog detail. And we're gonna need the slug, so this is gonna look confusing to you, so just kind of ignore it for, the, for now and I'll come back and talk about this later. I'm gonna add some styling, some text decoration of none. That's gonna get rid of the HTML or the, the ahref default highlighting that will automatically go on them. And I'm gonna to go to the next line and I'm gonna add a list item. Oh whoops, I actually forgot to do an ordered or an unordered list above here. So unordered list, and then inside the unordered list is where I want to add the loop. There we go. And then, whoops, and then, and then inside here, we'll have the list items. So let's do class, list group, list group item. That's some bootstrap styling. And here I'll print out the title of the post so they can click on it. Uh, otherwise, let's see here. So if, here I'll add an if statement just below the heading, if blog posts, so if the user have, has blog posts, uh, then I want to list them all out. So end, end if, otherwise, so I'll do an else statement. Otherwise, if they don't have any blog posts, then I wanna tell them that they don't have any. So you have no blog posts, create a post, and I'll do, give them a link to create a post. So create a post, whoops, I need the URL, so URL, blog create so create a post here and that should be pretty much it so we have our container row I'm gonna have some styling for a blog post this class name blog post we have a title if there is any blog posts for this user we want to loop through them in this ordered list or unordered list sorry otherwise I'm gonna tell them you have no blog posts you can go create one here so control s to save that let's uh, take a look so if I refresh no reverse for detail rights. We haven't made that URL yet. So this URL is not valid yet. I'll actually just put a placeholder and we'll come back and fix that later. So there we go, that's pretty good, other than obviously this isn't centered. So I need to add that styling that I was talking about. So scrolling up to the very top where we have our style tag, I wanna go dot blog posts and I wanna do max width 
equals 500 pickle picks <laughs> i was going to say 500 pickles uh, and then set the width to always occupy 100 percent. so max width of 500 pixels always occupy all of it and set margin equal to auto i'm going to save that go back refresh and there we go so obviously th these won't take us anywhere right now because we don't have that url set up but we have our list of blog posts and they are going to be listed right here the only thing i don't really like is actually how this isn't lined up with the edge of that i think that's actually an easy fix if I just come into the H3 class and do uh, maybe MX auto, save that, go back. No, that didn't do it. Well, I don't feel like messing around with it. You can mess around with it if you want. I want to move on to the next part. So now the next part is going to be, we need to, um, we need to build that detail blog view so that when they click on the URL right here, they will actually get directed to the correct URL, not just this dummy one. So I'm gonna go into our blogging app, go into views, and uh, we need to create that new view. So define, it'll be called detail blog view. It will take the request like all the other ones do. Define the context first, as always. Do blog post equals get, we need to import this package, get object or 404. So it's either gonna get this particular object or it will throw a 404 HTML error with the slug equal to the slug. And I'm gonna pass the, th the slug as input here. So blog post, and I wanna add that, add that to the context equals blog post, and then return render request. The template is going to be blog slash detail, whoops, detail blog.html and return the context. So a couple of things here. Number one is we need to import this package. So I'm scrolling up to the top and this is part of the Django shortcuts package. Like I said, it will either throw a 404 error or it will return the object. And uh, other than that, we need to create this blog or a detail blog HTML template. So let's go into templates, go into blog, create a new file, control S to save. And this is gonna be uh, detail blog.html. As always, we want to add our block content and extend. So end, whoops, end block content. So lots of repetition here, lots of stuff that you've seen before. I can close that, save this. We're gonna have some styling. So I'm just gonna add the styling first and then we can write the rest of the view. We're gonna be using a card. So this is a bootstrap card. I'm setting the max width to 700 pixels. So the cards that we use will be, it's like, a, if you know Android, it's just like a card view, very similar in Bootstrap, very kind of almost the same thing. And the container will be uh, 20 pixels of padding. So now let's build this view. What is this gonna look like? Well, we're gonna have a container as always. Uh, next inside the container, we will have a row. So row, we should be very familiar with that kind of stuff. And now I wanna build the view for the blog post. So add this blog post and at the I can do end blog post also just to kind of keep it keep it nice and separated. This file isn't really going to be that big. It's kind of unnecessary, but you can add it if, if you want to uh, improve the look of this and organization. So the class that we're using here is card, as you might have guessed. And that, like I said, if you're familiar with Android development, it's very similar to a card view. It gives kind of a border around everything and you'll see it in just a few minutes here when we when we get finished this i'm gonna add an image tag this is going to be uh it'll be blog post dot image dot url to display the image for the blog post the class here is going to be card image top that's a bootstrap thing in case you were wondering another div this div class is going to be the card body i want margin top of two and margin bottom of two. So you could also just do margin Y of two. That would do uh, margin top and margin bottom of two. Next is an H2 tag inside here. I want the title. So blog post dot title. And I'm gonna add a class to this H2. This is going to be the card title. And then a P tag, and this is gonna be the card text. So card text. And this is gonna be the body of the blog post. So blog post dot body and then I want to say safe what that's going to do is it will render HTML if you add it to the blog post so for example I'll just go to the admin and go to one of the blog posts so if I was to if I was to type some HTML in here like p tags h tags whatever this is some HTML um, if you if you do that line and then say safe 
I'm not sure what this is called, but if you do that, it will it will enable the rendering of the HTML. So that's all that that does. Uh, next, one more div for the footer. So class, this is going to be the card footer text muted to give it a different kind of look. And I'm going to say posted on, or you could say updated on. That's actually probably better. Updated on blog post dot. I think it's date updated is the field. I just want to make sure going into models date updated is the field that we're looking for. So updated on that date by whoever the author is. So blog post dot author. And that should be our view. So I'm pressing control S to save that. We have that referenced here. The last step is going into URLs and we're going to add the, the URL for this page. So coming up to the top here, we need to get our detail blog view and I'm going to copy this line, create a duplicate, adding our detail blog view here. This is going to be detail. And uh, here we want to do slug because the, the URL is going to look like this. It'll be, you know, it'll be, uh, It'll be blog and then whatever the slug for that particular blog post is. So that's why I'm passing slug here. Now the last step is going into accounts.html and we need to actually add this um, namespace URL here. So URL and I want to do blog detail. So you should be familiar with that. There should be nothing new. Remember, we're just referencing the namespace for that particular URL. But now this is going to be a little different. I need to do post.slug. So the reason for this is inside the view, I'm referencing the slug. So if, if there's any, any kind of an input that you need to pass to the view, you need to reference it through the namespace URL or else it won't know where it is. It won't know what where to get that slug from. So the slug comes from the post right here, the post object, post.slug. So I'm passing it and uh, giving it what it needs basically. So that's saved. Now let's go back to the server. I'm going to go to the home, whoops, go back to the home page, go to account. These are the blog posts that this user has written. If I click it, I'm then taken to blog and then there's the slug right there. And here is that blog post written by that user. If I go back, I can click the other one. There's the second blog post. You have the image, you have the title, and then you have the, the uh, body and you have the date down here. Now, obviously these don't look very good because they, uh, they're not really real blog posts. There's no real content. What I could do is actually go to codingwithmitch.com and I could sign into my, whoops, my admin, and I could copy one of the blog posts. So I could go to blog posts. I could do, you know, grab the flutter list one. I'm just going to press control C on that, uh, on that body. Uh, now I'm going to go to the admin for the, the temporary or the development website. Let's go to, uh, which one is this? Let's go to the second one and I'll paste in that. I'll hit control. I'll, I'll save that. Uh, looks like there's too many characters, so I'll just delete some. Um, I don't know. Just delete. doesn't really matter. Save that. Let's go back to the website. Go to account. Go to second blog post. And there we go. It looks much better, as you can see. So that's, uh, that's pretty much all there is to this video. So now in the next video, I'm going to work on implementing a way to update these blog posts if they're viewed by the author. So if I'm the author and I'm viewing the blog post in this view, I'm going to add a little update button button at the very bottom that they can click and then update the blog.